For this video, what I want to do is show you how to use the TI Inspire graphing calculator to help you find um, trig values. So we're going to find each one, sine, cosine, secant, tangent, cotangent, and cosecant. All of these are in radians, so we will check to make sure that the calculator is in radian mode. If you are working in degrees, you do need to make sure that you are in degree mode. So before you start, always look to see, should I be in radians or degrees? So I will go over how to find that, and then also how to plug it in. The nice thing with the TI Inspire is all of these values are in there, so you don't have to remember that secant is 1 over cosine and cosecant is 1 over sine and cotangent is 1 over tangent. They're actually already programmed into your calculator for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, for this, you are going to need your calculator. So let's go ahead and grab the calculator. I have all of them written down on my paper, so I'm just going to plug them in and then we'll go back and write down all of the answers. So I'm just going to open a new document, option one, and I'm going to add a calculator screen. Before I start, I do want to make sure that I'm in radian mode. So to do that, you're going to hit the document button and option seven, the settings and status. And then you're going to go into document settings. And you will notice that under angle, it's going to ask you, do you want radian degrees or gradients? So since this one is all in radians, we're going to keep it in radian, which is the default. But I did want to show you how to get there in case you are working in degrees. All right, so I'm just going to put all of them in. The first one that we had was sine 11 pi over 6. So you're just going to hit the trig button, which is next to the 7. So I'm going to hit the trig button. And then you would select the one that you want. So we want sine. And then we would do 11, and our pi button is down here next to the h. So we would do 11 pi divided by 6, and then just hit enter, and it will give you the answer negative 0.5. So it will give it to you as a decimal. Um, all of these values that I have written down here are values that you could use a unit circle to find these. So I do have a video that shows you how to use the unit circle. Um, for this one, the, um, the unit circle would give you negative one half, um, but either way, it doesn't matter if you have it. For this one, like I said, we're just using the calculator as a decimal approximation. For the next one, because of the fact that it's not a nice, concise decimal, you are going to have to round, so if you need the exact values, you do have to use the unit circle for that. All right, so our next one that we're looking for is cosine, so we would go back to trig, and we're gonna select cosine. And our value that we have is negative 5 pi divided by 6. Okay, and when we hit enter, we see that it's negative 0 0.8660. Um, if you are asked to round and trick, typically it's to four decimal places, so that's what I'm going to go to. Uh, the more places you have, the better off you are. If you are working with things where you do have to approximate within, it can throw off the final answer and it can cause catastrophic mistakes. So make sure that you are rounding um, or not rounding if you're working within each problem. Um, next one, secant. So I'm just going to plug in the rest of these. I'm going to go ahead and just plug all of them in on the calculator and then I will come back and write down all the answers. So we're going to do secant 3 pi over 4, tangent pi, cotangent, and cosecant. Like I said, I do have them on my paper. So we're going to just go to the next one. Uh, for the next one, we are looking for secant 3 pi divided by 4. Oops, I didn't select the pi divided by 4, and then hit enter, and we get negative 1.414. Our next one, and it would round to, if I go to four decimal places, it would go to the 2. Next one is tangent pi, so we would just go to trig tangent pi, and enter, and it gives us 0. Cotangent is our next one. So we would just select cotangent, negative pi over 6. And again, for this one, we would round to four decimal places. And again, if you are looking for the exact answer, you would have to use the unit circle because the calculator is only going to give you the approximate answer. And then the last one that we want to work with is cosecant. So we would go in and find cosecant, 5 pi divided by 6. 
Okay, so for this one, all I wanted to do was show you how to plug in each of the six trig functions into your calculator and find the answer. I'm going to go ahead and go back and finish writing down the answers. Uh, secant was negative 1.4142, approximately. Um, tangent pi was equal to 0. Cosecant 5 pi over 6 is 2 and cotangent negative pi over 6 rounded to negative 1.7321. I will do another video that shows you how to work in um, degree mode. I do like the fact that with the TI Inspire graphing calculator that you can just plug in secant, cosecant, and cotangent and you don't have to know the reciprocal functions. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.